What's the deal with keto only working if you do it? Now that's a silly question, but I'll explain. Hi, in case you're new to this channel and don't know who I am, I am Slick Nick, your personal keto bro. I'm not a doctor, a dietitian, a nutritionist, a personal trainer. I'm just some random guy who's almost 40 and arguably almost at 17% body fat. I mean, these size medium shirts are really working out for me now. And that's a new phenomenon in my life. It hasn't been this way since I went vegan years ago at age 32 and didn't understand at the time I was just minimizing my calories and upping my fat intake. But now keto is like the sequel to, to being vegan. And I mean, not eating processed foods like I was as a vegan. It got too, way too easy to eat processed foods as, as a vegan because there ended up being a vegan version of everything the longer I was a vegan. I was a vegan for five and a half years. But by 35, I, was, I had a dad bod again. And I knew that I had to do something different. Like I've said in videos before about keto, if keto stopped working for me, I'd stop doing it. But right now I'm only finding gains or maybe losses, fat loss, by doing it. And so I am a human science experiment for the whole world to see. Many people criticize the keto lifestyle. Meanwhile, I'm just doing it and I'm gonna find out if it works for me. I've got no skin in the game as far as selling some kind of product where I need this to work, anything like that. So I can truly be a normal human being who you can learn from and I can learn from myself. But I wanna talk about something my wife and I learned this week. So I am so strict about keto, 100% strict. I refuse to consume you know, more than 50 grams of carbohydrates a day. I'm so strict about my intermittent fasting. I'm not eating anything before 2 p.m. I'm very strict about all my principles. And if you want to know what those principles are, I always put a link right here so you can learn the five pillars of being keto. So I want to share this story with you. So for 12 years, my wife and I, actually closer to 13, we've been married closer to 13. The whole time we've been married, up until a couple months ago, we, we were kosher. We didn't eat pork. We didn't eat shellfish. And then when I went keto, I was like, well, it makes sense to eat pork now, especially bacon, because pork does not... It barely spikes your insulin. Of all the things you can eat with protein, pork has one of the lowest uh, insulin indexes, like, like butter and cream cheese. It's just so low that you can get fat and protein from bacon and it not cause your body to store fat. Whereas, for example, butter, it won't store fat, but it's got no protein. So if you're looking for protein, bacon or pork sausage are great options for that. So I started, I taught myself to, to cook bacon. I didn't grow up in a household where we ate bacon or really pork. I looked at some YouTube videos. I taught myself how to cook bacon and the smell went up to the stairs. My wife smelled it. She came down and she said, oh, bacon is so good. So there was a situation where, and I was well, not a conversation we really had, but I would only really cook two pieces for myself to eat alongside my eggs or whatever else I was eating. That's all I would really eat. It was about two, two pieces. But my wife would have several, like often six, seven, eight. So that was something that we saw that was different. And then also we've been eating more beef, which we just never really been big into that. But we have this certain kind of soup that I call Super Bowl soup, where it's hamburger meat, cream cheese, um, some, some salsa. That's mainly what it is. It's a lot of calories and it's a lot of fat and it's a lot of protein. But it's not something that I can have every day. And I recently made a video about as far as everything in moderation on keto, no. But some things in moderation and beef and cheese would be some of those things. I don't necessarily need to have them every single day, but in moderation, those specific items can be good, but I shouldn't have them every day. So here's what we've learned. I've continued to lose fat. I weighed myself today, 155 pounds. Compared to a year ago, before I started doing weight training and before I changed my diet, I mean, still being a vegan, I was closer to 180 pounds. 178 is what I maxed out at before I started doing all this. And now 155. So I'm continuing to lose fat. I'm continuing to gain protein. But my wife, she told me she's gained five pounds. She said, but the thing is, I can tell it's not fat. She pointed to her stomach. She's like, look, there's not fat here. But she's like, I feel it in the rest of my body. I was like, what you've done is you've added protein to your diet because she was vegetarian and vegan for all those years along with me. And her body naturally lends itself to prefer being vegetarian with a little bit of meat. Whereas for me, I'm pretty flexible. I mean, granted, I was vegan for all those years and I didn't eat pork all those years. But for me, 
this is my version of keto now. As far as meat goes, I mean, I break my fast with three eggs. Now, a vegetarian can eat eggs, so technically that's vegetarian, the three eggs. And then at the evening, that's when I'll have an actual serving of meat, whether last night it was a turkey uh, burger patty with a slice of bacon on it, or tonight it's going to be uh, some chicken sausage, tomorrow it'll be a chicken breast. But I, I, I'm pretty strict about keeping my portions right as far as whatever it, it sets. I don't really count calories, but I'm really more focusing on the serving size. So I don't actually eat a lot of meat. Technically, I'm only, only eating meat once a day at, at my second meal, since a lot of people won't count eggs as, as meat. But my wife wasn't used to having that much protein that she was eating in the form of meat until I started doing keto. So it's interesting. It caused her to not gain fat, but instead to gain about five pounds of more protein because I can look at her, I don't see any fat. And she'll even admit, she doesn't see any added fat on, on her body. But it's interesting, and she knew this, she knows how keto works. She's still been eating carbs. A lot, no, but she will eat tortillas. She will eat tortilla chips. A lot of, she'll eat popcorn, a lot of corn-based carbs. That she, and she'll have her Starbucks coffee, which has some sugar in it. So she's still consuming carbs. I'm virtually not, not more than 50 grams a day. And it's the, it's the world of difference. It's the world of difference between my body is cutting fat, her body didn't store fat, but it stored muscle. And it's interesting because she, and she even said this uh, in, our, in our conversation yesterday, she's like, well, I'm basically just gonna go back to being vegetarian again. I'll still eat meat occasionally, but I'm mainly just gonna be vegetarian. And I think by that, by logic, it should say that she'll lose that extra protein that she gained and by going back to being vegetarian. So now in my household, We'll have me that's doing keto. My wife will be largely vegetarian, eating some meat. My, our son, who's 10, will be, he's been a vegetarian his entire life. He's never chosen to eat meat. And then our daughter, who's four, she'll kind of eat anything, but she's most like my wife in that she's, she doesn't really like meat, but she, she, she will eat some bacon kind of situation. Uh, so that's what we're looking at. That's, that's fine, because it's, it's interesting to consider that one person goes keto in a household, well, how does that affect everybody else? Well, this is what I've seen how it's affected. But the point is, keto works when you do it. It's working for me. My wife wasn't doing keto and she was never trying to do keto. She just altered her diet because I did. And she's like, oh, bacon? You're making bacon, it smells good, it tastes awesome, I'm gonna eat some. But then she'd be eating a lot more than I did and she's just not used to eating meat at, at dinner. So. Keto only works if you do it. It's an all or nothing thing. It's not a moderation thing. It's, hey, I gotta be all in. I gotta give this 100%. And yeah, it works and I love it. And for me, it's really easy. But if you don't really wanna do it, you're not gonna do it. And if you're not gonna do it, it's not gonna work. Comments belong right here.